What's up, family? We are at 24 Hour Fitness. Morning time, about to get a workout in. We're gonna do some, some biceps, some triceps, some traps, some running, some abs, and whatever else the Holy Spirit puts on our heart. But most importantly, there's gonna be an encounter. I don't know where, it could be the steam room, the sauna, it could be in the weight room, the basketball court, I don't know. We're just gonna be um, sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Just do what we always do, get a great workout in, and at the same time, we're gonna Work out on these souls, because a wise man wins souls. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Pastor Joel, you know what's gonna happen? I don't know. He does his thing, the Holy Ghost, we just listen and we just follow. And that's it. I'm serving, you know I wanna be left. I be working, my faith can put to touch. I am serving, I got I can't lie. I be swerving, this ain't I don't wanna go back. I wanna go back, I wanna go back, I wanna go back now. I be putting your first word even when it hurt, I wanna be left. I'm serving, you know I wanna be left. I be working, my faith ain't put to the touch. I am serving, I got I cannot lie. I be swerving, this ain't I don't wanna go back. We did three tricep workouts, three bicep workouts, and we even incorporated some um, some traps and some back to superset some of the workouts. We're on our last workout of triceps. Um, after this, we're gonna hit the, um, hopefully the steam room. We're gonna hit that, and we're gonna see if we can get an encounter. So let's get it. How you feel, Pastor Joel? I'm feeling beat up. He said he's feeling beat up. Hey, if you go to the gym and you don't leave beat up, what'd you do? We gotta get this workout, man. Let's go. Hey, what's up, y'all? So we just ran into who? Gamaliel. Gamaliel, you know you know me from social media. Yes, sir. Yep. I see the cross. You holy, you holy spirit filled Christian. Yes, sir. But that's what's up, man. So what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say, and you know, I saw you, but I didn't know if it was you or not. But then I saw the microphone. I was like, oh, that's definitely him. Sure. I just appreciate you know, seeing that. All for the glory of God, man. Do you need prayer for anything, bro? Um, can I ask you a random question? Do you have a girlfriend, bro? No, I had one. You had one, and what happened? You know, we just fell off. Recently? Yeah. I feel like you, you you're down about that. <sighs> yeah. Because at the spirit, I saw a vision of like a girl hurting you, and I didn't know if it was now or you got you got rid of her. But you're saying she's out your life now. So what if I told you, God allowed that breakup for the benefit of both of you? I believe it. Because He wants you to He wants you to take Him serious and grow in relationship with Him, so that way you can um, if I have a wife. Do you want a wife or you want a girlfriend? I want a wife. So there's a process called courtship, and courtship is when you you court someone because you see potential of marrying them. I know in the world there's girlfriend boyfriend. We're used to it. And then I had, I had a lot of girlfriends, I guess, in the world. But when I came to Christ, bro, I courted and um, I got married. So how old are you? 22. 22. You're actually at a perfect age for marriage. I don't know if your life's in order financially and everything. Um, you have your own place and everything? I live with my parents still, but you know, I'm, I feel like you know, I'm in a good place um, getting my stuff together financially. Let's go. Being smarter with my actions. Well, where do you work at? What do you do? So I work right now, I work at Spectrum. Uh, Spectrum? Spectrum? That's what's yeah. up. So yeah, I'm just there for now. and. Then, trying to get other things in order as well. Grinding. Like, yeah, with my career choices and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna bless you, I'm gonna pray for you. So Father, in the name of Jesus, he didn't come up for no reason. Thank you, Lord, that you, sometimes you separate things, you allow things to happen for our our good. I just pray off any depression that's been bothering him, any rejection, Lord, that you would that you would release him from it right now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that he would, he would be prepared for his wife, children. You're showing me he's gonna have many children, Lord. I pray that he moves in, in obedience, Father, with you, because he loves you. And I pray that you even continue to give him more visions, more dreams, increase his prophetic gift. That he study your word more than ever before, Lord. Give him a fire and a desire in Jesus' name. Amen. It's crazy what you said is like literally spot on. Like I'm literally going through that, what you said right now. And it's like whenever I feel like God's presence, like I get a little shaky. Like I literally, my leg like just shaking. Like I don't know. You were shaking, bro. Like I, I feel that you were shaking. Yeah. That's the presence of God. Yeah, like you said, bro. Like. I'm shocked, bro. You're prophetic, man. You're a prophetic man of God. The God's going to give you interpretation of dreams. Man, so you guys, as you saw, God just knocked out two birds with one stone. We were literally just talking about how people just see and, and, and get encouraged through the videos. And the Apostle said, hey, there's going to be an encounter. Two birds with one stone, bro. I'm telling you, he's a good, good guy. <laughs> hey, guys, so we're in the sauna and I'm with? Right. Quick question, man. We always ask this question. What do you think the purpose of life is? That's a hard one. I'm only 25, so that's I haven't experienced that much. What do you think we're doing here as humans? What's the purpose of all this? I think 
it comes down to supporting each other and really trying to improve everyone around you. And if you can't do that, then I think it's going to be a tough task to like learn later down the road. So like just really building a community for yourself as well as building a community for others. I think that's the main goal. That's dope. I like that. And like quick question, heaven or hell? Pick one. Heaven. How do you make it to heaven? Doing the right thing every day or trying to do the right thing every day and you, just staying positive. And are you Muslim, Christian, Jewish? I grew up Catholic. Catholic? Yeah. So you believe in Christianity? Yeah. Um, I don't I don't go to church as much as I, I should. Yeah. Um, but I do go to a youth group. Um, okay. Yeah. Or I, what's it called? Oh, Man in the Mirror. Man in the Mirror. Man in the Mirror. So, so yeah. like according to like the Christian faith, which also I'm Christian too, the way we make it to heaven, us, me and you, it's not by good works, but it's by the blood of Jesus. By like, cause like you know, Jesus came off of His throne. He is God. He's the Son of God, equal to the Father and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And He came down off of His throne and entered a body to live a life that we couldn't live. One sip, one sin separated us from God, bro. One, and you've lied, you've cheated. I have too. We all have done wrong. So like, one sin separates us from a holy, perfect God. But Jesus came to live in a human, a human finite body like we have, but He never sinned. And by doing that and sacrificing his life, a life, a sacrifice and a torturing and a beating that he didn't deserve, he gives us access back into relationship with the Father here on earth, not when we get to heaven. So we don't come to Christ to make it to heaven. We come to Christ to be reconciled back into relationship with God that we were separated from because of sin all the way back to Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. So that's the gospel. That's the good news that, that we've all been separated from God, but that Jesus came to live a life we couldn't live, sacrifice himself. He died on that cross, was buried. He rose on the third day. If we believe in that good news, that he did that for us, submit to his lordship, meaning you believe he's your lord, and he rose from the dead and repent and turn to him, you can be born again. I know in Catholicism, I'm not here to, um, to bash any denominations. I used to be Catholic. Mm -hmm. They believe you got to do works, like sacraments, to be, to be saved. Yeah. I, want, I want to let you know, bro, it's not, it's not biblical. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a non-denominational Christian. Are you Christian, too? I am. You're, okay, oh, so we got another Christian over here in the, in the house. What's, what's your name, ma'am? Diana. Diana. So you believe the same thing I just preached? your holy spirit filled christian amen so like so you know that we're saved not by good works right mm -hmm. how are we saved by what we're saved by, by the blood of jesus amen by faith right yeah he's the he's the gate he's the he's amen the, the lord, door he's the, he's the, path. the way the truth and the life amen hallelujah and and how, do you have a powerful testimony huh? do you have a testimony of coming to christ or were you um, I born in Indiana. okay where are you from Oh, Puerto Rico? Mm -hmm. Oh, we just got back from Puerto Rico. We had a big, uh, tell her, revival. Yeah. And what's your ethnicity, bro? Um, I'm, I was born here, but my, my mom's side is Colombian and my dad's side is Portuguese. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what's up, man. And you got baptized as a baby? Yeah. So I, I want to let you know, man, baptism, the Bible says, is when you believe, repent, and then be baptized. And I got baptized as a baby, but that doesn't, like, I, how can we believe and repent as a baby? You know what I'm saying? It's just not biblical. Like, even the Catholic Bible says the same thing in the book of uh, Acts, Acts 2.38. So I just want to let you know, man, um, I wasn't raised super Christian. Like you said, I was kind of like you, just, I guess, just doing my thing, good, trying to be good. And then I had a supernatural encounter with Jesus. And he saved my life. He healed me of a disease I had for nine years, delivered me from demons, and gave me um, purpose. And now um, I'm actually a pastor. He, right here, I this can you can tell. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> and this guy right here, he's a pastor too, Pastor Joel. Yeah. And man, can we can we say a prayer for you, bro? Yeah, yeah. And would you like a prayer too? Yeah. Okay. Let's come. Let's pray together. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just pray right now, Lord. We pray, Father, that we'd have deeper revelation of your gospel, deeper revelation of your blood, deeper revelation of you, and would grow more intimately in relationship with you, Lord. Even for the people walking in right now. Father, we pray that we would know your spirit more, the Holy Spirit. And for our brother right here, we pray that he would surrender fully all the way, not religion, but relationship with you and be born again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Would you want to be born again, bro? I guess so. In a, in, in a I guess, more, I don't know, more physical way. Like, do you believe? Like, what, what I'm doing. So it's very simple. Do you believe the gospel, the good news I just preached to you, that, yeah, you are, that you're a sinner separated from God because of, of sin and that Jesus washes you? Mm -hmm. So the next step is to repent and start, which means turn away from following anything else, turn to him, and then be baptized. Would you want to get baptized? Again? Like, like knowing this gospel and repenting. Because before it was just a bath. 
because you didn't know it as a baby. Right, yeah. We could do it right there, bro. You know how many people we baptize in there? <laughs> Seriously, bro. Actually. You want to get baptized today? Uh, if you believe it, you can get baptized. No, no? Right. all right, no problem, bro. Hey, we appreciate you, though, for listening and yeah. re receiving the prayer. And we're going to be at the gym, and anytime you need anything, you come to us. It's my social media is uh, my name, Richard Lorenzo Jr., on all platforms and bro keep doing oh, what you're man. doing yeah bro keep doing because you look you, you have some great workouts we might um ask you later on if we see you working out hop in yeah, with yeah, you ask me, of course, but, yeah. learn some yeah. things bro so god is good in the sauna sauna talk man god. hey man we preached the gospel he believed it wasn't ready for baptism because usually we baptize right there man we've we, ba we baptized so many people right there but it's all good he got the gospel you know he got the word of god he got the word she she's a, she was a believer happened to walk in we all prayed together I believe there's an effect, man. You could be in the sauna, working out, and still preach the gospel, man. Matthew 6, 33, seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and everything shall be added onto you. And that's what we do. And everything we do, it's kingdom, man. It's kingdom. So that sauna was hot. That workout was great. Now we out. Going to get a protein shake. Continue our day, man. All for Jesus. In Jesus' name. Salute.